Hello everyone, welcome to Gizmo China. I'm Kieran. As a four-year-old laptop brand, Huawei has figured out the laptop market pretty quickly, establishing its Matebook lineup as a solid Windows-powered option in China and internationally. Relying on excellent quality control and the latest technology, Huawei's Matebook lineup of laptops has become one of the most popular Ultrabook series, especially in the past two years. The Huawei Matebook lineup has been very eye-catching with its excellent design and build quality in the Chinese market. It's also worth adding that the Matebook lineup is designed for specific market segments and has proved to be a decent alternative to the Apple MacBooks. And today, let's take a look at their latest Matebook X 2020 and find out whether the X is right for you. Huawei Matebook X Pro once led a wave of full-screen notebooks with its forward-looking design. This time, the new Matebook X still continues the excellent design language, which is even more compact with a 13-inch screen. Thanks to the impressive narrow bezels, the screen-to-body ratio reaches at 90%. And more importantly, the new Matebook X is surprisingly thin and lightweight, weighing in around just one kilogram. And its compact size allows users to easily carry it around. There's an excellent multi-touch display featuring a decent 3 to 2 resolution with 3000 times 2000 pixels. It offers a maximum brightness of around 450 nits and 100% sRGB color coverage, with the relatively high back value results in a contrast ratio of 1500 to 1. With the naked eye, the color presentation is as good as what we have seen on Apple MacBooks. Obviously from its appearance, we're pretty sure that the notebook is designed for light work and entertainment needs with portability in mind. The back of the display gets a metal matte process and features a glossy Huawei logo at the center. By the way, on opening the lid, the experience is definitely interesting. Like what we see on Apple MacBook series, the refined hinge of the Matebook X laptop allows us to open and close the lid smoothly with just one hand or even just one finger. It's such a tiny detail that doesn't directly improve performance or efficiency, but we believe that most users will be delighted to experience it, further confirming its fine build quality. This is especially true for most Windows laptops that don't seem to focus on the fluidity of the hinge mechanism. Open the lid and you'll find a standard island keyboard featuring black keys and silver lettering, which looks pretty unified with the same silver colors of the metal body. The feedback of the keys is not compromised by the thin body. The keycaps and the spacing are just good enough for my taste. And the switches are not so soft without a crisp bottoming action. Overall, for a compact laptop, the Matebook's keyboard is definitely one of the best choices. On the upper right corner, there is a power button integrated with a fingerprint sensor. With the button, you can quickly and safely access the desktop with just one touch. One complaint about the hardware is the webcam location. Although the pop-up webcam can protect our privacy and save space for the display, we still have to complain that the camera angle is too strange. Connectivity of the Matebook X could be a discouraging point for potential consumers. The compromise of having such a thin and light body is seen in the number of ports available. It comes with only two USB-C ports and a 3.5mm audio jack. The laptop also needs to be charged through one of the USB-C ports, so when charging, there is only one C port left for connectivity. But fortunately, Huawei acknowledges the problem and has an official docking station for wider connectivity. The dock features one USB-A port, a VGA, and another HDMI port for video output, and one more USB-C port. To be honest, there is no better solution to avoid the compromise between compact design and poor connectivity. On opening the case, we have to appreciate that Huawei's already thought about it and offers the dock as a workaround to the problem. There is another surprise about its design, which is the large touchpad. It's probably the best touchpad we've experienced on Windows laptops, responding well and fast to swiping and tapping. Unlike most traditional touchpads, this one is powered by a piezoelectric ceramic sheet, which relies on crisp vibrations driven by an inner motor to simulate the true press feedback. The new touchpad can guarantee better durability than regular mechanical touchpads, Meanwhile, the touchpad is also integrated with NFC functionality. With the Huawei Share Tag built into the touchpad, you can simply tap your Huawei phone to the touchpad to transform them into one device and achieve a smooth multi-device collaboration on the Matebook X. We'll talk more about this in detail later. As for its performance, there is nothing special for such an ultra-light notebook. But overall, the Matebook X performed very well as a machine for tasks with light to medium load. The 10th generation Intel Core i5 processor inside a quad-core processor with a base frequency of 1.6 GHz 
Paired with 16GB of RAM, it delivers impressive performance, no matter for single task or multitasking. For those who mainly use it for entertainment and light office work, the 16GB of RAM is not necessarily worthwhile. Fortunately, the model offers an 8GB RAM option, which should be completely sufficient for most light users. As for gaming, the bottom line is that the X model is almost as good a lightweight gaming laptop as the other 10th i5 systems we've tested. Otherwise, you can choose the i7 model of the MateBook X, which would be a bit more powerful than this review model. However, we should also note that as an ultra-thin notebook, there is no active cooling system like special cooling fans, so during gaming, the rapidly rising body temperature probably would affect its gaming performance. One more thing we have to tell you is the Huawei Share feature. If you're using a Huawei phone and want to collaborate between your computer and the phone, the MateBook series should be the best choice for you. All you need to do is tap your phone to the touchpad, and the phone screen will pop up automatically on the MateBook X. Through the Huawei Share, users can transfer any file or photo easily between the two devices and also directly operate the phone from the notebook. For portability considerations, the MateBook X 2020 is equipped with a 42 watt hour battery, which is not a typically large battery capacity. However, in our playback video test where we loop a 1080p video with the default performance mode and at 50% brightness, the full charge MateBook X lasted around 10 hours, which did exceed our expectations. In the official simulation test of PC Mark 10, it lasted over 6.5 hours. As for fast charging, the 65W USB-C charger is included. The laptop was charged to 80% of power in just one hour, and eventually it took us 87 minutes to fully charge the laptop. The 65W charger is relatively smaller than most laptop chargers, and it can also be used to charge your Android phones. So if you travel a lot, you don't have to carry around a lot of cables. Just one cable would suffice for your phone and laptop. Besides, the dual speakers inside provide an immersive audio experience. Let's check out how the 3D sound performs on the MateBook X. Subtle. Sound can be deeper, more dimensional. There's no need to wonder because you're listening to Dolby Atmos. With Dolby Atmos, audio can precisely move in any direction within this theater, whether the sound sweeps from the back to all the way in front, marks overhead. How does that sound? If you are looking for a thin and lightweight laptop and have a pretty decent budget, there is no doubt that the Huawei MateBook X is one of the best choices for its outstanding design and reliability. And if you travel a lot but hate to carry multiple cables and chargers, the MateBook X will allow you to carry a single charger that you can share with your phone. But if you need a heavy workstation or a cost-effective gaming laptop, portability won't be on your wish list, and the MateBook X will be too compact for you. But overall, as a portable premium notebook, although the MateBook X model is pricey, it still offers excellent value for money, with stylish design, great performance, and good battery life. So far, it's not disappointed us at all. So how do you like the MateBook X? Is there any specific feature that you want to know about? Please share your thoughts with us and leave your ideas down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like our work. This is Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you soon.